me and Anthony have known each other several years and we've been hiking and enjoying the woods together and he's helped on my farm for the last few years. And this apprenticeship really gave us a chance to have a, a framework and to reflect on not only the tradition of mushroom foraging, which has such a strong presence here in Appalachia, Everybody has their morel story. Everybody, you know, has their favorites. Uh, you kind of, I can't be in a dollar store and not talk to somebody about mushrooms, you know. There is a, a very strong knowledge of mushrooms here and a very strong historical significance to mushrooms and foraging mushrooms. So we got to reflect a lot on that during our foraging. And we also got to, during this year, um, have more of a systematic or, or thoughtful process rather than just saying, hey, let's take today off. It's rainy and we can't do that work we need to do on the farm. Let's go down and hit this trail and go for a hike and see what we find. Whenever I would say that, subconsciously, I there would be things going on like, I know when it last rained. I know what I found on this trail before. I know what's in season right now. I know the geography of this trail and how close it is to water and things of that nature. But none of those were surface level thoughts. And so I did want to say how much I appreciate that, um, almost like Enrica and Barbara, we had been doing this informally. And then there's a formalization that actually brings a lot of recognition up about what we're doing and why we're doing it. And um, I guess just the one last thought on that is how it made me feel more connected to people that have been foraging in these hills for so long. It, it, I think there were a lot of times where I really felt more of a connection to the history of mushrooms and foraging um, than, I, than I do on my average, you know, if I wasn't part of this program with Anthony.